Hey guys, good morning. It's Pete, and uh, I thought I'd show you guys um, what I'm working on today. And this is a little video too for my buddy up in Maine, my lobsterman buddy, uh, Captain C.S. John. How you doing, man? Um, thought I'd show you the uh, contraption I got set up for the smoker here. So essentially, like uh, like I said, this is just a box, and in the box you can see I got a bunch of trays, and right here inside let me see if the lighting yeah this is a tin can poking up through the bottom you can see the hole up there at the top and what i got going on is that can let me show you on the bottom here um oh this is tough with one hand this one fits right into uh, fits right into the bottom so that one's stationary it doesn't go anywhere and this is my burn can and it's let's see three cans put together and inside I put about two cups worth of um, just slightly damp whatever hardwoods I'm gonna use or um, you know whatever whatever stuff I got that that you know is good for for burning so you know apple cherry etc and this is my burn station and what I got going on is a number 10 can that I cut so that way I could fit it over this little sterno, which uh, you can get anywhere, these little sterno heater things. This is a good one because it's stainless steel. Even though it's all a little burnt up looking, it's it's going to last a long time. So what I do is, um, I open it up, this, this moves side to side so you can open and close the air vent. And I just add some of this, which is denatured alcohol, and I put the label on because I accidentally took a swig of this one time, and that was not too fun. <laughs> so uh, I fill this up about, depending on how much, uh, you know, how much burn time I want, usually about half to three quarters full. Just light it, and then I tuck it into the number 10 like that, and then the smoke travels up. And it takes a little while to get going, but once it does, it's, it ain't stopping. And uh, as you can see, it does a nice job. Uh, this salmon meat I dried on the dehydrator first, so it was already dehydrated, which I think I'm going to do for now on, because what preserves the meat, essentially, is a lack of moisture, and more importantly, um, if you're going to leave it in a room temperature environment, when you get a coat of smoke on there, what it does is it prevents any bacteria from forming, so you don't need a whole lot, you know, just a, just a, enough. And for me, that's about two cups worth of like finely chopped, you know, whatever wood I'm using. And these are my oysters, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend some time out here today cleaning up and I got a little burn pile. It's a cloudy day, so it's a good day for, for burning stuff that's damp and it's gonna smoke up a bit. And I got my little heater going. And I'm about to cook some eggs and put some smoked oysters in it. Hoo -hoo! And have some salmon snacks. And uh, I got my first few uh, full swings of my Gronsfer's Brooks axe yesterday. And man, this thing is just a beast. It, it chops wood like, oh, it's just wonderful. So I'm going to clean up these leaves, chop some wood, burn off some branches from the birch trees, and just, you know, do a clean up back here and, and have a nice spot. And over there is my new, uh, my new grill station for small stuff and then uh yeah that's what i'm gonna do today so hope you're all well take care and talk to you next time have a great day bye